Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to block Adobe Photoshop internet connection. Before we start, hurry up and check out the stuff for just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you exactly do this? Well, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to basically visit your firewall settings. So in this case, at the bottom left of your screen, you want to go to your search bar here and just type in firewall. Now look for the option that says what Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to change a few things, which includes us adding a rule. So in this case, since we want to edit the outbound, outbound connection that we are accessing right now, we want to go to Outbound Rules here and you want to click on New Rules at the right side here under Actions. Now in here, what we need to do next is we need to fill out the following information. So first is you need to choose program here, go ahead and click on next. Now we need to specify the app that you're having problems with. In this case, you want to go ahead and click on browse here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to local disk C. From here, you want to go to program files, you want to go to Adobe. And from here, you want to select the program that you're having issues with. So in this case, you want to go ahead and open uh, one of the following apps. So in this case, for example, I have, I'm having some problems with my in copy here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Or you could go ahead and choose Adobe Photoshop here if you want to. So let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, you want to go ahead and look for Photoshop.exe. Go ahead and click on it and click on open. Now, by the way, alternatively, you could also select the .exe or the shortcut that you see on your desktop. So instead of going to local C, you could go to your desktop here and select the app itself. But then again, if you don't have it on your desktop, you do it the other way here, like what we did just, just now. From here, just go ahead and click on open. And from here, what we need to do next is we just need to click on next. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose block connection. Let's go ahead and click on next again. Now from here, it's going to say, when does this rule apply? So make sure to apply this to all connections that we see here, click on next. Now you want to add a name for this one. So for example, let's just add Adobe Photoshop. So make sure the spelling is correct here. And from here, once you've added that, let's go ahead and click on finish. And as you can see, it is now added. Now from here on, you will no longer have that issue. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.